What impact has this had on the um, biophysics hit ID workflow we have? Well, at the top, we've got the workflow that we highlighted at the very beginning for the MST, where you've got the asset development, primary screening, affinity potency, and then hit validation. And the bottom, you've now got the um, workflow that we've incorporated using the wave rapid technology. And the big difference is that you completely miss out the single point primary screening. The primary screening now is performed using the wave rapid technology because the throughput is such that we don't need to be doing the um, single point screening. So that means that straight off the bat, you're able to obtain full kinetic power characterization and affinities um, for, the, uh, for the target of interest. Because the way the system works, that it can be also run unattended, it, it now also opens, the, opens up the opportunity for actually running um, parallel hit identification programs. And again, that's well known in the field that the chances are you're going to obtain um, different hit matter and more hit matter for the client projects. And that gives a greater opportunity for obtaining co-crystal structures and SOC systems to facilitate projects going forward. So in summary, um, Chromatics Wave Delta and the Wave Rapid Technology has really been heavily adopted um, into, into the Domain X biophysical screening workflow. What I haven't mentioned too much of is it enables faster assay validation, um, simply because we're able to uh, validate the asset quicker with parallel targets. There's a reduction in machine use time because we're able to screen much more quickly and there's a reduction in the data turnaround time because the screening's quicker, we're able to turn around data faster to clients. And this therefore also increases the number of design make test cycles in a much more quick process.